Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Green Hell. We're losing. Ah, water. We could do with a little drink of water. Apparently we're very, very thirsty. So let's just have a quick drink of water here with all of our coconut shells that we got laid out down on the ground here, like this. Drink you. Right, I think that's probably sufficient. Is that filled? That has filled us all the way back up. Right, so we're now looking perky and healthy. We have got our smoker busy smoking away. That is very nearly almost done. There we go. Armadillo meat smoked. It's actually smoked meat. It's not just regular meat. This is smoked meat. Let's see. I've been told that it should last longer. Take that one up. There. Four days. We got That one will last for four days instead of the regular two days that cooked meat lasts for. Over there, that's nine hours left on that one. However, armadillo meat is still not one that we want. We don't know the effect of consumption at the moment. So let me eat that one. That is 41 protein and 10 energy. And four sanity as well. Then we've got the peacock bass over here, 27 proteins. The capybara meat. Now that gives us fats. But what happens if we smoke it later on? Does that give us like more stuff? I'm not really sure. So we don't need the smoker at the moment. Uh, which means this fire might be better. I'm thinking, yes, I will restoke this fire here. I was going to let it all burn out, but now I've changed my mind. So I will stoke that one back up. The one underneath the smoker, we might let that one burn out. So what have we got here? I've got four pieces of charcoal left. Uh, I'll put a piece in there. That's still three pieces of charcoal that we got. A couple small sticks there. And we'll use up some more of the bigger sticks. There we go. Right. Yesterday, or last time, I was talking about um, some of you going into the into you know the suggestions and suggesting that we have the ability to craft our own charcoal besides the campfire. A bigger version of that, where we can actually do it on a large scale the way that charcoal is actually produced, um, where you build it up, you cover it with mud. Now, it may not be able to be something that could be done just yet because they still haven't introduced the mud building, but they are adding mud building into the game, which is what got me thinking about it in the first place. So I think that could be very cool. Uh, also, I'm hoping that you've all watched the last episode and you've gone and voted. If you haven't, then go and do it now. Uh, there is a vote on the last episode for what game you'd like me to play next. We've kind of covered most of the content that is currently available on this game. I'm going to take that bamboo log with me because I want it down here. Um, it's kind of available right now in this game. And I would like to come back to this one later on when there's a load more content been added and do a load more stuff here. I love this game. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So I definitely intend to come back and do more here. But right now, we've kind of run out of content. We've, we've gone through and we've done just about everything that's available to do. Uh, there are a few things, like having a look at building a bridge here. This is an interesting little challenge that I've been set. So I thought I'd take a look at it and try and do some of it. Uh, there were some people over here last time, which were making life a bit more interesting for us. They're not there at the moment. I'm taking that as a good sign. Right, we'll go over here and I will cut down some of these. Um, so, yeah, we've... I, I put it between uh, The Long Dark to um, as a new gameplay. Um, Thief Simulator, which is one that um, is coming out very, very soon. And uh, that would be new gameplay as well. Or um, Conan Exiles, go back to that one and carry on with it. Or go back to Raft and carry on with that one. Because both of those two games have had updates. Thief Simulator, like I said, is a new one. I am going to be doing a look at that one. Um, but it's whether or not you want me to do a series to replace this one for a while. I know that uh, from comments um, earlier in the week that several of you don't actually want me to do that. And in fact, you'd prefer me to... Well, not about the Thief Simulator, but you you really like the survival games. And so I'm thinking that you may not want me to do the Thief Simulator just yet. Uh. Oop. Okay, yeah, that's, that's the whole thing with the piranhas. I forgot about the piranhas. Um, don't stand in the water. Piranhas are not good. Um, so, yeah, Thief Simulator does look very interesting. I don't know if you'd want it as a replacement for this one, though. 
Uh, let me go to there. So now, ants are supposed to be able to see. That's not a a a gash. That is just a wound. So I just need a leaf bandage on that one. Want anything else on it? Just put the leaf bandage on, and then we'll be fine. Um, and yeah, it's it's certainly interesting. The um looking at the different games and that that are currently available. There's another one, not long dark, it's called, um, actually I can't remember what it's called now. I was told, Jamie Bright was telling me about it. Um, or, ja Jamie Burt, sorry, not Bright, Burt. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's a, another game, uh, Stranded Deep, I think it was called. And that one also looks quite interesting. You gotta be Wait. kidding me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I broke another axe. Let's go and get you right there and harvest that one. I need a few stones. Right, so there's four stones there and harvest that one and then I can make another one of these. Except that, I think I came down here. Oh no, I do have some sticks. That's okay. As long as we've got a couple of sticks, we're all right for this. So I want to take you and I want to go to craft. So I need to make three blades first. After I've made three blades, then I can make the new stone axe. Uh, so we go back to crafting. Oops, there. And I go to you. Make another one of these. Like that. And craft. Um, so I've seen some rather interesting things coming up. Um, I've seen... Uh, you all seem to really like the survival games, and you seem to be really enjoying those. So maybe I will do Thief Simulator as a replacement to something different, rather than a replacement to the survival game, so that I'm still playing a survival game for everybody. Um, and, you know, th then we can kind of work around it like that. So th there's there are other options. I don't have to just play... Um, this isn't going to be like the only series that is going to stop forevermore. Oh, they're back again. Thought I got rid of them. Apparently I went too far away and then this one has regenerated itself. Those people have turned up as well, which is, I think, quite a nuisance. I, want, I don't want those people to be there. But I'm not sure how to stop them from spawning. There's got to be a way to persuade them not to turn up. I'm hoping they add walls in here as well. Then we can have, like, defensible walls in this game. That would be really cool. Um, and then I, I could, like, build a, a, a palisade around here and stop people from coming in. That would be another awesome thing. Um, the the Long Dark, that looks really good. So Stranded Deep, this other game that I've been told that I would really like. Um, I have had a brief look at it. It's got mixed reviews on Steam, and it looks like it's been a very, very long time in development. So there's debate over to whether or not it's actually been forgotten or not. That being said, it still looks really interesting. So that is one that is on my radar. I have looked at it. I haven't sort of ruled it out. It's just that I didn't want to add it in this time round. Uh, I thought, no, I'll leave it a little bit longer. Maybe there will be another significant update or something to it. And we'll wait and see. Uh, so that really was just a because I want to wait and see type situation with that one. Um, and then maybe it'll be a suitable replacement to whatever we play next, if we're still waiting for some um, more content for this one. I don't really know. But I have not ruled out Stranded Deep. I'm just not... I uh, haven't included it this time, that's all. Um, now, what else would you like me to do in... Well, actually, don't worry about what else you'd like me to do, because by the time you see this episode now, uh, I suspect that I will have finished the final episode for the series for now. And we'll be moving on to something different. So don't worry about telling me about things that you want to see in the game. Uh, that you want me to do. Rather, what do you want to see added to this game? What other things would you like to see added? I've seen people say they'd like walls added into the game. Uh, better walls on our house would be very cool. I'm with you on that one, by the way. I think that is an awesome idea. And I'm pretty sure that the mud upgrade thing that's coming later, that's going to be a way for us to get better walls on the house anyway. Um, so that one's going to be added. Uh, but what other stuff would you like? I would like much more building. I would like a lot more building. I'm not worried about completing any storyline. 
I would like to be able to build a wall to keep the people out. That would be cool. The um, the thing that I said about doing, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, charcoal, that's something that I really want added into the game. I think that would be awesome. Uh, oh, zero. Uh, right, well, I need to go this way then, where I get nibbled on by another piranha. Um, that would be absolutely brilliant if we could have another one of the... I just want to have a look at food. How are we doing for food? Carbs, mostly. We could do a little bit of fat. We've got three hours left on that one. Uh, two days, two days, two days, and two days on that one. This one's only got four hours. I'll eat that one. Uh, you've got one day, and then those have got three. He's up here. Yeah. So those are my emergency ra I I carry them round because... I don't want to risk losing them. I don't want to risk them despawning or something like that. That is my concern with them. Bananas up here. These are an excellent source of carbohydrates. So we will take all of these bananas. Oh, we will in a minute. I'm going to eat that one there and then take that last one. And they will despawn. And I want to eat one more. Eat that one. There. And... Right, I'm now fully stoked up. The only thing I don't have is um, liquids. I will take a couple of these. And then the reason I came back over this side was because I want to get some lianas. So we've got a few over here. We're going to be needing four or five of them for making the rope bridge. Not the rope bridge. The, the bridge that we're making. So we want a few of these. Um, if I got any lying on the ground still? I know that we do occasionally get them lying on the ground. I don't think we have at the moment. Look round here. I've got loads of sticks. I won't take any more than that because I don't want to weigh myself down. Uh, let's take you. I'm going to leave the fires up the top. If they burn out, they burn out. We'll keep working down here on the bridge for a minute. And see if we can get that one over a little bit further. I did say that I wanted to go looking for some peccaries. And see if we can find a place not too far from home where we can trap some peccaries, and then we've got a supply of peccary meat, because that is apparently one of the best um, meats in the game. So I would like to do that, so I'm not going to spend too long working on the bridge. There is one thing I am going to do, though. You come back down here. We're going to take the bamboo frame there, and I'm going to see if it will attach on this side. I very much doubt it. Oh, it will. Now, it wouldn't attach on there previously. It, we weren't able to put it down there on its own previously. But it does attach. That's very interesting, actually. That is very, very interesting. Okay, so we'll come out to this side. We're probably going to be eaten in a minute. Another bamboo frame there. And that one... <coughs> yep, there we go. We've just got eaten again. That one will go out onto there. So I'll just come up here and I need another bandage. Um... Inspect. So look at our leg. Right. Same legs. Same leg, same spot, just about. My legs are going to be scarred horribly by the time we get home, aren't they? They are going to be absolutely horribly scarred by the time we finish all of this. Still, never mind. Let's keep soldiering onwards. People are gone. Okay. They've gone away again. That's good. I'm, I'm quite happy for them to go away again. So let's just get this one here. And we want to run, well, I'll run the first three down this side. So there's one down. And as I can only pick up three, that's what I like about the bamboo, is you cut three down, you get three logs. Nice and easy. This is quite straightforward, this is. So drop that one, and that one, and that one, and then run back up here. And then I can cut down the next one. Let's cut you down here. Um... I'm, I'm just trying to think what else would be really cool to see added to the game. Some kind of food storage, so that we've got slightly longer-term food storage. That could be useful. Um, I mean, I suppose it doesn't need to be that major, because we have so much in the way of food that we can get to anyway. We, we don't really have much of a problem for food, do we? So I want to put one over here. Yeah, like that, one there, and one there. 
run back through the river. And I've got two left, which is that one and that one. Run back through the river again with the blood coming from the wound. That's probably not helping matters. So we put that one down there. So I need to get two lots of five now for the smaller bamboo sticks. I've got four lying there in a heap, so I need more than that. It's two just regular sticks. Let me get these. Yeah, I'm getting tired now. Getting very tired. How are we doing? All right, we're about halfway on the liquid. I've got to watch the liquid on this mostly. Uh, it's starting to get later, so we're going to be wanting to head back to our house pretty soon, get some rest. Um, we will be stoking the fires back up a bit. Long bamboo sticks. That's regular bamboo sticks there. So what have I got? i got four at the moment. And grab that one there. And then we'll do these. We'll do this one on this side. Like that. And I will do these. I've got enough ropes to be able to finish this bridge section here and one over the other side as well. I've got three there. I just need two more. I'm going to get these two here. That should be sufficient. My axe is about ready to break again. The thing is, though, this axe is pretty good. It takes a little bit of time to make it, admittedly, but that's offset by the fact that it's, like, right here and is easy to get to. Whereas the other ones, they're, they're not so easy to get to. The obsidian is, is a longer trek to go and find, and it just takes longer to, to get altogether. So I'm kind of thinking that really the obsidian is the better option. Uh, not the obsidian. The, the one that we're using is the better option. However, we'll wait and see. Um, at the moment, it seems pretty good. I did... I don't know if it was suggestions or if um, someone else was like, talking about... Someone from the official dev team was talking about it. But I was pretty sure that there was a thing about um, the... Um, the tools changing slightly. There was going to be a bigger update to the tools, and it was going. They were going to rework the way that they do them. Let's have a look now. See if we can do another bamboo. We cannot do one there, but I don't know if that's because of the fish trap. Might be because of our fish trap there. Now I'll take that one, which I can't, but I can harvest. I'm pretty sure, and we'll also harvest the other one, um, and then I'll remove these two traps. Put you up there, and then harvest. So I want to destroy these two traps here, so I need to do it like that. And it should break them, in theory. Yes. Right, we've got a load of sticks there. Break this one as well. There goes... Yep, there goes my axe. Right, I'll grab up... Oh, I don't have any... That's because i got some bamboo sticks. Okay, we've grabbed up what we can get there. Run back up the top. I'll take these two with me. As I've got them here. Pretty sure... Oh. One of those fires... No, the, both the fires are still going. Genuinely surprised that they're both still going. Put those two in there. How much have we got? You are... Right, I'm going to stoke this one here up. And I'm going to let the other one run down. So a bamboo stick... I don't know which actually... I think they both do about the same. Bamboo stick and regular stick do seem to do about the same for um, regenerating the fire. There we go. Put that one in and a small stick in there. So I'll leave the smoker for now. That one can burn out and then we've got a little bit of extra charcoal on that as and when we want it. Uh, we could do the little bit of liquid. So we'll come out here and we will grab some of that. And then we're pretty much ready for getting some sleep. And, hang on, let's have a look. How are we doing? One more. Get some sleep, and then in the morning, well, sort of later in the night, we'll be able to have a bit of food, and then we can head back down the bottom, and we can see what we can do <sighs> down there. I have now used up my um, axe again. So like I was saying, it's, it's a sort of toss-up between going off and trying to find... The, st uh, the the obsidian in order to make a new axe. And that does take time, doesn't it? It takes quite a lot of time. Somebody was saying they'd quite like me to explore the entire map. 
and that there are areas that I haven't yet explored. I appreciate that there are areas that I haven't yet got to. Um, I wasn't planning to do very much more in the way of exploration before I take a break, purely because I'd like some parts of the map to be uh, kind of new and unexplored for me when I come back to it. That's that's the main reason that I've got for not wanting to do that. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of hope that you understand that. Um, I don't want to, like, take everything. You, we've got, like, a limited amount of gameplay that we can do. And I don't want to, like, remove all available gameplay before I leave. I'd like to have, like, some elements of it that are still left to mix in with the new stuff that will be released. Uh, which is why I didn't want to explore any more of it. I, there isn't that much left. There are some bits that I haven't explored. But there isn't actually that much that I haven't been to. I've... Ooh, spider there. Um, some bits I've only kind of like run through fairly quickly. Um, so I didn't really do a great deal with them. But at the same time, they... You know, I, I did still do something with them. I still went past them and I did experience it a little bit. Now I'm coming down here because I'm searching for... Well, first up, I'm going to get some more of these sticks down here because I want to clear them out of the way. So we grab a load of those. And I'm also going to want to build a new fish trap. But I'm also down here because I want to get some stones. And I've got coconuts galore everywhere, but no stones. The stones over the other side. We have a big lack of stones over here. How bizarre. I really thought there were more stones around. I want lots of stones because I wanted to make a load of... Uh, there's a turtle there. Uh, I wanted to make a load of knives and blades and stuff. So you need stones to be able to do that. Preferably the big stones. We'll just go and grab a few of the big ones. I can harvest them. The massive bones down there on the ground. There we go. Start taking some of these. I wanted to be able to make some spare blades as well, see, so that I've got um, extras for the next uh, thing that breaks, the next axe that breaks. I picked up a few down that way. I also had some bamboo left lying there from last time, so I thought I'd just run it up this way very quickly and drop it down here, because I'm pretty sure there's some more stones on the ground up this side as well. Uh, right, let's dump you down there. There's some sticks there, although I've already picked up sticks. And I think I've also harvested all the stones that are currently available. There are no big stones lying around. Okay, so let's head back over this way. We've got any on the island? Uh, nope. None here. I have a very limited amount of stones today. I've got that one log there, which I will take back up this way. See, a use for these logs. That would be absolutely wonderful. I think that would be a magnificent addition to the game. A good use for these logs so that we don't have to just kind of have them clogging the place up or turning them into other stuff. You can make planks out of these um, if you harvest them. Oop, didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. Yeah. So it is possible to make planks, but again, I have no use for the planks. I, I don't really know what to do with them. I've not yet found any craftable item that I can make from the planks. I did see stones over here previously, but they don't seem to be here now. Why is there no stones? I got some stones. I just don't have very many. Well, that's disappointing. Right. I've got some. i got enough to be able to craft a few items. So let's go and uh, very quickly do that. Because I do need a replacement axe. That, that, was, that was kind of the main thing that I was after. Was my replacement axe. So go back into... Oh, no, I want to go um, craft like that. And I want to go to that one there. Get another stone. Craft the stone blade. That would be another awesome thing. Is not only storage, we've got this extra one here for blades. Which is great. No, that's very helpful. But no, another thing that I would like to get in the game is... Um, Something besides just crafting stone blades. There, I've got no space in the backpack at the minute. So if I put that one up there and I put that one up there as well. And then I get a stick. I want like a crafting bench where I can craft bigger stuff. That would be quite cool. That's always an element of gameplay that I really enjoy in other games. I, I always enjoy that kind of stuff. Right, I've got five stones at the moment. 
I'm just going to keep hold of them. I'm not going to worry about them too much. And we'll have a look in here a second. We'll drop in some timber into the fire like that. And then we can go back down the bottom. We can finish breaking the fish trap. And I'm hoping that we will be able to put in one more item on the bridge. I mean, if not, then maybe a shed on the side of it. If we could do a little lean-to, and then we'll be able to jump up onto it so that we can get across our bridge. That might be useful. That, that might be a way forward. Right, what do we got here? I need carbs, which is those two bananas. I'll eat them. It's mostly the carbs. Uh, that one's empty. That one's empty. And then I've got that one there, which is full of bone infusion, which is fats and other things. So that's got two days. They've got one day and 12, so I'll eat that one. Uh, peacock bass cooked right there. I'll eat that one. And then I got three raw right here. So I'll put those on the rocks right here. Three. Oh, only, oh, there's two. There's only two. And, right, I need some more fat and some more protein. I'll eat one of them. There we go. I'll eat one of the eggs. And I'll eat one of these up here as well. Right, that's all the fat and everything that I could possibly want. Yes. What are you doing? That armadillo is sounding... I don't know. He sounded like he's got some serious stomach problems or something. Pretty sure what he was doing, to be honest. Uh, you are... No, no, you're zero. Right. Uh, that one, peacock bass meat, that one there will come in. That's only got, see, two days left on it. As does that one. We'll hold on to those. And then we'll be able to use them next. So there's our food fully replenished. We can come down here. We've got to finish breaking up that fish trap. And then we are going to see if we can put another piece on this end. We're going to need a load of banana leaves in order to finish that one off. So let's just quickly break this one. i got the peacock bass there again. Um, there, right. That's all of that one. Loads of timber in there. I want this one here. Bamboo frame, right. It does. Having removed that one, I am now able to put this one in place. That is fantastic. Let me just grab those sticks out the way there. And I want to grab as many of these as I can. And I don't think I need another fish trap. We've got fish traps galore, so I don't actually feel the need to go and get another one. Um, so I'm sort of thinking... I've got the sticks out the way. I'll just leave it for a minute. Let's run on past. See if we can... We'll see if we can build it out there. I want to do that before this episode finishes. Build another section on there. And then there's people there again. Why do the people keep coming back? Go away. Leave me alone. I don't anything to you. Leave me alone. Never quite sure if these bits of timber flying apart are arrows coming from the natives. Or if it's just me and my hard work. At the moment, I think it's just me and my hard work, but um, you never can tell. Sometimes sometimes it goes the other way, and it's actually arrows flying. And I don't really want lots of arrows flying at me. I'm, I'm quite happy and content not to have the arrows. Let's go over to you. So there's that one. Right. Go that way. I've got to go this way. And we've still got to... Obviously, we've got to build this end of the bridge as well. That's another thing on our to-do list. We will get to that, but it's the other end that I want to do today. I just want to finish off... And see if we can get the shed piece on the end so that we've got like the um, the ramp to go up onto the bridge. And we can take it all the way across the river. There we go. Knock that one down there. Bamboo, bamboo, and bamboo there. And then, yeah, I do want to take these because if we're building a shed on the other end, we're also going to want some more. As long as we keep moving quickly, I think we're going to be all right. We're not going to be eaten alive by piranhas. So I'll put that there, and then I'll drop those two down there so that they're ready. Then we run back this way, and we go and get some of those sticks. Pretty sure I've got a full stack. Yes, I do. Right. Just grab up my full stack. I can hear them over there, just in the faint distance. Hopefully they're going to leave me alone. So all I ask is you leave me alone. I don't want I don't, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any bother. Let's come back out of here a little bit. And another one there. And then finally we got one on there. 
Ropes. I've got enough ropes. Put one there. Four of two. Over to this side. There. I've got two ropes left at the moment. Now, what else can I do? Can I put another one of those on? I can. I did not expect to be able to put another one all the way over here. It goes up to that rock, though. So although we couldn't start from here, we are able to go all the way up to this end uh, to finish up here, which makes me think that we will just be able to come out and jump straight onto it. And we're not going to need the little lean-to bit on it at all. That's fantastic. Right, we've got to go and get more bamboo logs a minute. So we want to do another run back across the great grey greasy limpopo and go and chop down another one of these. We'll keep them slightly over this way so we're a little bit away from those people and chop you down here. And then I'm going to need... How many do I need? Just... I'll take them all with me because I'm probably going to want more over there. Yeah. Depends if I can build another one of these. Right, there's one. Grab you up. There's another one. There's two. Where'd the third one go? There's always three. Things always come in threes. Where is it? Oh, it's down there. Right, now we can run this one back over to here. It's slightly the wrong angle. You look at it. It's ever so slightly the wrong angle. Which means... That we didn't plan that out very well. I don't think that we'll be building another one. I think this is it. Put you down there. Um, the way that one's coming out, it's not going to let us build anything else, I don't think. I do happen to have a few bamboo sticks up here. I don't remember how many I've got. I don't know if i got enough. But I'm going to run up this way and I'm going to have a look. I'm going to hope that i got... Oh, no. I've got just regular sticks, haven't I? Uh, I've got... Oh, yes, I do. I have enough. I brought a full five back. Four and five for the last one. Right, so we've got the stack. That's good, so that we can just see what the next bit's going to do. Whether or not we can use it. Straight down through here. Keep going. Fantastic. Right. Uh, put you onto there. You onto there. You onto there. Don't get stuck inside, because we'll never get out of there again. Right, that one goes in there. I need more ropes. I've now run out of ropes. So that's the next thing we need to do. Is run up here. Have we got... Oh, no, I've already stripped that tree. And that one. I have to chop some of these trees down if I want more ropes. That one, I've already stripped that one. Uh, ah, here we go. Right, there's a few. Grab that one and that one there. I don't really want to chop more trees down because then I'm left with the big logs lying around and it really irritates me when the big rocks, uh, the big rocks, big rocks, big logs. When the big logs are left lying around, it really irritates me because, you know, that they need to be picked up, tidied. I've got to put them away somewhere. So that's why I don't want to do it, if I can help it. Let's grab that one there. Are there any more on this tree? Some of them have four and some of them only have two, uh, three. This one down here, what have you got? You got one down there. Uh, you got another one over there. That makes eight. What's that? A Brazil nut. Okay, Brazil nuts are new. I've not seen them before. I I did I I, I knew that they were there, uh, and then I'd forgotten about them. I remember as soon as I seen it just then, I remembered reading about the Brazil nuts being in the game, but I had forgotten about them. Grab that one. I know there was another one there, but I couldn't quite reach it, so I'll worry about that later. Uh, Brazil nut here. So that one there, I've got craft or harvest. So let's harvest that one a minute and see what we get from there. That is Brazil nut bowl there. And in here, unknown nut spoiled. Oh, that's a shame. Harvest is probably going to be a maggot. Nope, larvae. Seven larvae. And then we got a Brazil nut bowl right there. What do we do with that? Let's craft or destroy. Okay, well, I'll leave that one. I won't do anything with it. I won't craft or destroy. I will simply leave it be. I will not interfere with it. So that is the Brazil nut. So that appears to be up against the huge, great, big trees rather than anywhere else. We come down to here and we put that rope onto there. And we come around this side. And we put that rope onto there. Now we have another one. The big question. 
What else can we do? Can we put... <gasps> oh! We can put another one over here, right into the mud. Okay, it's going in really deep into the mud, quite frankly, at this point. I don't care. I am absolutely thrilled to bits that we can do this. Right, we need to go back over. We want to get one more of those big ones, and then we're also going to want to get one of the smaller ones. The people are still over there. So I'll go over this way. We want a stack of small ones, and we want one more of these big ones chopped down as well. We will chop down this one here. Our axe will be just fine. Okay, we've run out of energy, but our axe is just fine. Let's see what we've got on us at the minute. I think we've got leeches somewhere. Probably. We pick up leeches for a pastime. Uh, there's one. I got more. Uh, two more. Couple more passengers. There we go. Right, so there's the passengers gotten rid of. And come back here. Finish chopping that one down. And what are you going to do? Are you going to fire off into the distance? No, you're going to stay right here. Grab you, you, and you. And then we run back over. And I am so pleased that it goes all the way across the river. This is brilliant. We've actually got a proper bridge all the way across now. Right? There's, there's no two ways about it. This is a genuine proper bridge. It goes right into the mud. Right in there. And that is a genuine proper bridge. That is absolutely fantastic. And look. I can already run across the framework of my bridge. That is awesome. That is so cool. I'm very pleased with that. Thank you very much to the suggestion for the bridge. I'm very pleased about that. Genuinely, genuinely thrilled to bits about my bridge. And I am enjoying building this bridge. So we just, we'll chop that one. I'll chop another one down. Just because I probably don't have enough to um, be the full stack of five. Take you out. And there we go. Right. Um, long sticks. Grab up some long sticks. There, there's three, and I knew I wouldn't have enough. There we go. Run back this way. So we can build some more out this side, but we'll be doing that in our next episode. We're going to finish out this series with our bridge. Whether or not we actually finish it completely, I don't know. Um, but we will get most of it done, at least. There, and put you down there. So we've got a rope there, and then a rope on there, and on there, and one on there as well. Right, bamboo frame created. Just out of curiosity, can we put... Ha <laughs> ha ha! We can build another one, except that we're not... It, it goes into the ground, doesn't it? So we're not actually going to be able to see the end of it. I love the fact that that goes into the ground like that. Wait a minute. If that goes into the... Ah, no. You remember... I wonder if I can build more things with this than I can with the other stuff. Right, because I can build there. I see. Right, no, it goes up too high. That's the problem. This is too high. And it doesn't build off the front of the shed. The shed is like the end of it. There is no other option for the shed. So that's where it limited it. So I could do more of my shelter down here. And I could add more on. And then there, it's, again, it's too high. That's why I can't build over there. That's why it won't let me do that bit up there. Um, so that's, that's, that's kind of clarified that. So you can go low into the ground once you've got a, um, a starting point. Once you've got an anchor point, you can go low into the ground like that, see? But I don't need to there. I've, I've already gone far enough into the ground that this is going to be absolutely fine. Go across here. And then I can put another one in there. So that's that end. But there's our bridge. There is our bridge. It's it's raining continuously. I was hoping to be able to look at that without the rain. But still, never mind. Um, I will build some more of this bridge in our next episode. We'll build that bit out there. We'll go out that one. We're probably going to do another three or four sections out that side. It's going to be a lot quicker because we're much closer to the bamboo this time. <coughs> okay, I didn't actually mean to fall off of there. Um, yeah, it will be a lot quicker because we're a lot closer to the bamboo. But there we have a bridge starting to span the great grey greasy Limpopo. And then we're going to cover it with banana leaves. So we've got a proper run straight across the top. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.